Monday. Are you the master of this vessel? Yes. Uh, I'm Zhang. Where are your crew? We seek asylum. We're refugees. Now he knows the routine. Yeah. Well, how many of you are there? How many? X! Oh, what's this? A volleyball team. We seek asylum. We refugees. Come this way. Did you speak any English? Chat. Hey, buffer, move him. Do any Step of you back. speak English? Two days. Make a comfortable place. Take a seat, please. Thank you. It's all right. Go ahead. This is X-ray A2. You can go ahead, X. Uh, sir, we have one male Chinese, apparently the master of this vessel. There are at least nine women, perhaps Chinese nationals. Sir, they are young women. There are no other men on board, no children. Over. Have they given you a reason for being in our waters? Well, they say they're seeking asylum. I think that's unlikely. I think they're here for an entirely different reason. Yeah, well, that's something we can't take into consideration, next. Sir, these women look scared. And if we just turn this boat around, I don't know what's going to happen to them. Do you? No, I don't. But I can't change the law, Rex. You know that. Oh, thanks for clarifying the situation. Don't take it personally, Ex. Swain! Help, please! It's OK. It's OK. Get it down. Oh, OK. You all right? How long? <laughs> She's having baby now. <laughs> you, doctor. <laughs> Yan Lin. From what I can gather, she's been in labour for about 15 hours. Oh, gosh. Sir? Dutch, sir? Huh? Sit him down, two dads. Tell the place to have a baby, man. <laughs> Swain, Swain, you copy? I need you right here now, mate. Copy that spider, I'm on my way. She's bleeding now, I don't know what to do. Okay, man. Baby. You save her baby. Okay. Swain. Yeah. I'm never on board Hammersley. Well, our orders are to treat any medical situation aboard this vessel, if possible. Okay, well, she's bleeding. Uh, it's a life threatening situation. I'll need her on an IV. Great, I'll get around the red tape. Okay. Charlie A2, this is X ray A2. We have a situation on board. Over. Gently. Ah! Okay, try and relax. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, sir. How is she? Yeah, not good, sir. Oh. Well, you know we have a duty of care now that we've taken her on board. Yeah, I know, sir. Right, do your best. Don't know how I'm going to stop this bleeding. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, can you get Robert to put a call through to Fleet Medical? Well, already done. I arranged a call when I got your message. He's on the line. Right. Uh, I am going to need more towels, mate. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sir, this is Petty Officer Chris Blake. I've got a pregnant female. She's full term, semi dilated, but she's bleeding. Well, to be a guess, but she's probably lost about half a litre of blood. Millie? Yan Lin? Does she have any family, uh, relatives? Do you know where she is from? Can you tell me anything about her? Millie, don't worry about him. Please just tell me what you can. I don't know. You must know something about her. Millie, anything you can tell us will help us. Please help us. This belongs Yang Ling. Hey, hey, don't uh, give her the back! Hey, hey. Don't give it to her! There's no passport. None of you have any passports. You can't keep Did them. he take them from you? Now, don't you tell me what I can and can't do. Set him down. I don't want to hear another word from him. What's the blood pressure? 60 systolic. 60 systolic. 
pulses everywhere. So let me know if you need anything. Yeah, uh, medivac chopper. Sir, X would like a word. Go ahead, X. Sir, I don't believe a word of the skipper's explanation. They are not refugees. I mean, do we really have to turn them around? They have no passports, they have no form of ID. And this whole thing, it, it stinks. We have our orders, X. Now oh, the bloody isn't stopping. If anything, it's getting worse. <laughs> yeah, I know it does. It sounds like placenta bavaria. What? It's where the placenta becomes partially detached from the womb. No, no, sir, we don't carry any drugs like that on board. <laughs> I need you to take deep breaths. Deep breaths. The inhaler's certainly helping with the pain, but she's visibly weaker and paler. We'll see if you can detect a fetal heartbeat. Well, we've already pumped around two litres of normal saline into her, but she's losing blood faster than that. Isn't there anything else we can do? My baby's heart is racing. I can't even count its weight. Her blood pressure is 40 and still falling. She's slowly slipping into shock here. Yes? Yes, what is it? Uh, the uh, medivac chopper you request. Yes. Um, they're, they're all out of range. Spider, she needs one. Yeah, I'm sorry, Spino. The boss told me to tell you that he's pulling every string he can, but the nearest is at least three hours away. Sir, the pulse is threading. Impossible. Okay, so she's unconscious. You've got to give me something I can do. Good day. You are now in international waters. You keep heading that way and do not come back. Do you understand? Bet they do a U-turn the minute we're over the horizon. Yeah, we can't hang around to find out. No. You get down now. There's no pulse. Sir, she's gone into cardiac arrest. We're administering adrenaline now. What do you mean, no? Yeah, okay, okay. I, I, I get that she probably wasn't going to make it anyway, but what you're suggesting, I, 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 I don't know if I can do that. Look, yeah, just give me a minute, okay? Swain. Swain. He wants me to... wants me to cut the baby out. We need that medivac chopper. Advise all medivac helicopters still engaged. I can't give you an ETA. Understood. Keep me informed. Uh, sir. Um, the Chinese woman's passed away. Swain did all he could. Baby? You can do this. Don't think about it, just cut. <clears throat> uh, where, where do I cut, sir? through that second layer of muscle. <sighs> okay, I can see the uterine wall. Good, I need another set of hands.
of breathing. Pull out that adrenaline. Yep, how much? Five mils. Uh, spot, I'm gonna need more towels. Can you cut the cord, please? Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Refrigerated spiders, she won't decompose. Yeah, I know, still. Look, there's nowhere else for her to go, okay? I swear, they told me that you were. Uh, excuse me. She has come all of this way to end up in a garbage room. Swain, are you okay? You're fine. Is the baby. The baby's fine. Bomb's looking after him. Those Do you want personal to personal effects? I should fill in that report. Yeah, that's no, okay. I'll look after them. Ma'am, it's my job. I can fill out the Swain. report. Ma'am, I can fill in a report. Swain, I said I will take care of it. Is Swain not here? No. It's pretty warm. Yeah, quick, shut the door. Sorry. Turn the room temperature up to the max. For the baby. How's he doing? Need oxygen. Yeah, he's doing really well. How about that to keep him warm? What have you been doing in my galley? Genius. Go on, John. I'll just give him the tools, rig it up. Ro, do you happen to read any Chinese by chance? Oh, enough to order yum cha. Because. I have some postcards here. They are Yan Lin's. Oh. Mm, I recognise that symbol. It means sister. This is from Yan Lin's sister and her name is Xia Xia. Great. And there's some postmarks from somewhere called Indigo Point. Wouldn't you be better asking the navigator? Right. And there's some text messages on her phone. Again, they are all in Chinese. So can you please help me try and translate them? No. Why not? Well, I have a schedule to maintain and I'm behind. Right, let me put this another way. It is an order. OK, well, we'll upload the text messages to the computer and we'll put them through a translation program. Thank you. There's that name again. Xiao Xiao. Is this Xiao Xiao's phone number? Apparently. This might be her only family. Oh, Swain isn't here? No, no. I'll go find him. Are you okay with... Yeah, I'm fine. Do you mind holding him for a second? Sure. What do I do? Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's so small. Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah, I'm just checking his blood. <laughs> He's trying to suck my finger. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, I'm gonna look after you. Yeah, he's doing really well. I can take him back. No, no he's okay. <sighs> Next, do you think the baby qualifies as an Australian citizen? I mean, he was born on board Hemersley. It'd be great if he did, but he doesn't. Where did you say Swain was? I heard you did an amazing job. Thanks, ma'am. Are you okay? Yeah. 
How you doing? Bomber, the immigration people have just arrived to pick up the baby. Oh. Oh, don't look so worried, little man. I'll look after you. Do you mind if I have one more hold? I just never thought that I was maternal. Mm. Let's go. Swain. We're handing over the baby. Wish him luck. Yeah. Richie Cunningham. Yeah, what's not the lot? Who you loved him? Uh, not waiting for you, that's for sure. Had to give the little guy a little something, something before he left. There you go, mate. The boss will never miss it. This. <laughs> so he doesn't forget us. Okay, photo all. Oh. Smile. I uh, contacted Yanlin's sister. I called her as soon as we got fine coverage. Isn't that a job for these officials? Swain, I think it's important that this child doesn't lose contact with its real family. This child needs a mother. It doesn't need months, if not years, of legal wrangling. And I'm just trying to help speed things up. It's your call. Hey, would you like to meet her? Sister? Yeah. Nice. You are Kit? Yes. I am Xia Xia. Um, please sit down. Can I uh, get you a drink? Coffee or anything? Oh, oh, no. No, thank you. I'd like to start by telling you how deeply sorry I am about Yan Lin. Thank you. It was shock to hear your news. This is all that Yan Lin had with her. Thank you. You'll be glad to hear that her baby is healthy and strong. Yan Lin, did she say anything before she died? Well, nothing that could be understood by us. I see. I know that you will appreciate more than anyone how important it is that this baby doesn't lose contact with its real family. Yes. Well, maybe you could tell me a little bit about Yan Lin. Like why she was travelling on this boat when she was 14. This is all she had? Excuse me? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Wait, please. Now that's Zhao Zhao, the real sister. Are you sure? Well, I translated a few of the messages, and that image was attached to this message from Zhao Zhao. From Zhao Zhao to Yan Lin? Yes. All of Zhao Zhao's messages are a couple of months old. This one basically says that she's arrived in Australia. Hope you can follow soon, my sister. Blah, 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 blah. blah. And does she say where she is? Not that I can tell. It's very light on detail. It's fluffy stuff. I know you think you were doing the right thing by the bait. That but, was the idea. But you should have gone through the proper channel. Oh, snails move faster. Well, now I've been asked if we have any material on the woman. Wasn't that Swain's responsibility? I had it. And I know that I'm not supposed to, but am I the only one on this ship who is concerned about what really matters here? X. 
What really matters here is whether or not... Are you ever get tired of doing everything by the book? By the book? Come on, I'm the one who has to say we've lost her things overboard. Well, at least it proves something. Oh, don't go there. You know, it proves that there was something very wrong on that fishing boat. The people smuggling sex trade racket, whatever it is, it is all very highly organised. Now, I rang at Zhao Zhao's number to arrange a meeting, but someone else was sent in her place. That means they have her phone. She is in danger. We are not the police. You know, whoever these people are, they have gone to a lot of effort to steal Yan Lin's personal effects, haven't they? So therefore, what did she have that they wanted so badly? Exactly what they got. Anything that might identify them. Well, I didn't get everything. Because I still have this. Yan Lin's phone. So our next patrol takes in everything from here to here. So we have new orders, sir. I've assumed that the sea ever we intercepted has ignored our advice to stay away. Huh, yeah, that sounds about right. I've asked Coast Watch to keep a lookout. If they have turned back, I'd like to deal with them. Remembering that we're not the police. Excuse me, X. Um, I thought you might like one of these. Oh, that's very nice. Where did you get it from? Uh, two dads made the border and Roe printed them up. It's generous of Roe. He's usually very tight with his time. Oh, no, he was tired. I had to pay for them. Oh, you really are going to have to have a talk to him. Do I have to? Sir, Bro. a report. What? Um, Coast Watch have spotted a fishing vessel that matches the description of our CF. We're 20 miles northwest of us on a bearing of 323. NAF, plot a course to intercept? Yes, sir. Should be their position, but that is not us here. Galaxy One, this is Australian warship Hammersley. Please acknowledge. Michael Burns, ship's master. What are we going to do for you? We're investigating the sighting of a suspicious vessel in this area. What you mean, us? No, sir. We're looking for an Asian-style fishing boat. It was spotted by a coast watch plane two hours ago. You're the only boat on our radar. We're wondering if you've seen it. Nah, sorry, can't help you. You're the first boat we've seen in days. Are you sure? We might be a pleasure vessel, Captain, but we're not drunk. We maintain a watch. And no, we haven't seen anything matching your description. OK. Thanks for your cooperation. Good luck. Thank you. Hammersley, yeah. Where's it gone? Well, if it was coming back and it would be heading towards the mainland, it should be here. Maybe they turned around. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Oh, X. Have you got something? Yeah, I thought we'd be out of range, but Yanlin's phone got another message. It's from Zhao Zhao. Managed to do a rough translation. It mentions Indigo Point again, and basically it's saying not to come here. They make us do bad things. You are free, we are not. Stay away, but send help, please. Zhao Zhao thinks that Yanlin is still alive. X, help me to understand. Why Indigo Point? Because her sister Zhao Zhao, her text mentions Indigo Point. And this SMS was sent from her phone? It's written in Pinyin, so it could be a local phone. There's no Chinese characters. Maybe it's one of her captors. Anyway, we've got the number. So, keep trying. Three Indigo Points, and the closest is here, the north coast. How far away? Three hours. All right, let's go. Here, yeah, there, Captain speaking. We'll be docking at Indigo Point in about two hours. Surely we'll be available for all non-essential personnel until 2300. That's all. That's for you. Here you go. Hey, X. Yeah? Surely so soon after heading out on patrol is a bit odd, isn't it? Almost like there's an ulterior motive. X. Maybe it involves the ongoing investigation into the fishing vessel. What, the Chinese lady? Well, if there's anything you need me to do, just let me know, yeah? Oh, thanks, Spider. Guys, listen up. This isn't an operation, and I'm not going to brief you, but... We're pretty keen to help, sir. Good. I just need you to keep your eyes open when we arrive. Do you hear the news, surely? Uh, yeah, I, um... Got a bunch of paperwork I've got to finish off, so I figured I'd just stay on the boat. So you're OK? Yep. Fine. Hey, Bomb. You 
You did really well. I mean, you don't have the training or the experience to handle any of that stuff, and um, you did an outstanding job with Yandel and the baby. Should be really proud of the way you handled yourself. Now that was a nice thing to say. She deserves it. She did really well. The boss has already told you, but just in case you didn't hear, you did your best. And you can't do better than that, right? That's right. And thanks to you, there is a new little baby boy in the world. This must be what they call a no-star holiday destination. Two days we are here to find Yang Lin's sister. Well, there's plenty of boys around who look like offshore or riggers out for some R&R. &R. Personally, I'd rather stay out on the rig. Now, ex, I can take this the wrong way. This is not the kind of place that a woman should be walking around on her own. Normally, I would be offended, but I take your point. <laughs> All right, we're looking for a police station. This way. We all uh, head this way. Okay. Have one for me. Two dads, you want to come with us? Allow me. All right, in the event of an emergency called blah, 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 the nearest full-time station is in Elliston. Where is Elliston? Stay close, X. Yeah, I get the feeling everyone's watching. He's cute, isn't he? You okay? I've seen this place somewhere before. I still know where. Sir, signal just in from NAVCOM. HMAS Lara Key has just intercepted our CF. Definitely the same boat? Yeah, definitely, but they're headed north, not toward the mainland anymore. North? Yeah, and the other weird thing is that there are only three crew on board. All men, no women. Right. So where have they dropped off the women? There you are, ladies. I have to say you're looking very, very pretty this evening. Both of you are looking very pretty. So I was... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, One down. Two. Two. Buy you a drink and that's it. It's great. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I can't believe it. I must be losing my touch. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, mate. The ones that are obviously prostitutes. Which is all of them, mate. Yeah. I'd say they've been warned off. You reckon? Yeah. I even offered 25% on the going run. Must be your personality charge. That's a joke, right? Like that sort of girl to you? Yeah. Is that your natural hair colour? Hey, hey, Bullman, do you reckon she's a natural blonde? One way to find out. It's <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I need some information. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me? Yeah, look, that Chinese girl that I was talking to, she knows something, I'm sure of it. Do you have that photo of Yanli's sister? Yeah, I do. I'll call Swain and get him to watch you back. I'll be back in a sec. Be careful, all right? Something. Do you know her? You do? 
Zangai? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Keep still. Okay. I know these women are here. I know that look. You're thinking jurisdiction. Technically, if you're correct. It is a police matter. I said technically. Uh, the antiseptic you wanted. Here. Whatever she said. Well, you keep quiet. Spider. Keep still and keep thinking on the patient. You've been ashore yet? No, boss. Good. Come with me. Uh, whiskey here straight up. Actually, I'll uh, leave the bottle. Fisherman, are you? No. Oh, that's good. Would have recommended as a career. You know, if anyone tells you a month on a prawn boat is easy, tell them to go jump. Plan to drink that on your own? Uh, yeah, feel free. Like get some horizontal action around here. You putting the word on me? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, mate. There's plenty of action if you know where to look. Yeah, well, I am looking, and um, it, it ain't promising. You're a fussy man. Place to look for some quality actions out to sea. You're going weird on me. There's a boat called the Galaxy, floating pleasure palace. Hey, is that so? Or riggers call it the Love Boat. Services all the towns up and down this coast. Hey yeah, mate, now that that sounds promising. You uh, you sell tickets or something? Not me. You missed this trip. Thursdays and Fridays are Indigo Point days. She'll be back this afternoon. Cheers. Cheers. He said the galaxy. Yeah. The ga that's the boat that we intercepted when we were looking for the fishing vessel, isn't yes. it? Yes. It's a floating brothel. Yeah, that's what I was told, man. I reckon that fishing boat must have transferred its women onto it. So they were right under our noses the entire time. Yeah, it's due back around 1600, but we won't be waiting. Five vessels close by. This one's the largest, range five miles. That's probably the one we're looking for. Starboard 20, altering 002. Slow head both Let's engines. See what we can pick up on the yield. Carrying green to zero. There we go. There's a sight. Spider, do you recognize any of those women from the fishing boat? No, man. 
Are you going to wait for evidence? Prepare to border. We're an Australian registered vessel. Well, your rego is up to date. Congratulations. So you can't legally board us? Well, I think you will find that we can do any or all actions we deem necessary to enforce Australian law in our territorial waters. Look, what is your problem? We're just having a party here. Oh, party's legal now, are they? We have reason to believe that this vessel is holding illegal immigrants, possibly against their will. That's ridiculous. Look at all these people are my guests. Just ask him. Yeah, well, there's one big party. Right, girls? You're more than welcome to join us, but you're a little overdressed. Oi, what's your mouth? Has anybody seen this woman? No, no one knows her. Look, this is private property. You guys should all just go. Well, someone here knows her. Search the boat. Not so smart now, are you, big fella? Folks, party's over. Right, just stay seated, please, sir. Stay seated, thank you. No, she's not here, mate. I'll check downstairs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you make the way up to the upper deck, please. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Come on, let's go, mate. Thank you. Two dads for me. Have you seen her? Please tell me. You're so scared. Excuse me. Merely. It's Merely, isn't it? You know her. No. Merely, wait. You were on that boat with Yan Lin. Are you telling me that you don't recognize this woman? Yan Lin? Yan Lin, my friend, what happened to my friend? I'm so Dinner. Yen Lin. Did you care? Australian Navy, game's over. Make your way to the upper deck, please. It's okay, we're Australian Navy. We're here to help. Please relax. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, uh. It's okay. Dayu! Dayu! Do that! Do that! Xiao Xiao? 
Zhao Zhao, are you Zhao Zhao? Okay, my name is Peter, okay? I'm here to help you, please come with me. It's, it's okay. They keep us locked up when we're not working. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about them anymore. My sister, Yan Lin. Uh, I, uh, I wish that I had better news for you. Your sister, she, she was very ill in childbirth. She was bleeding very heavily and, and, and we did all that we could to save her, but um, she, she died. <laughs> but she has, she has a son, your, your nephew. He, he is alive and he, he's very healthy. Possibilities of fast tracking the adoption process. To make Xiao Xiao the legal guardian? Yeah. The thing is, she's an illegal immigrant. I'll argue questionable character. And so you think the best thing we can hope for is they're deported together? It's probably the best possible outcome. New life, it's a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. You want to get a cup of coffee while we wait? Sure. You know, we could try and find the father. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>